friends in this video we are going to learn about electromagnetic spectrum before knowing what is an electromagnetic spectrum let's see what is an electromagnetism it is nothing but a branch of physics involving the study of electromagnetic force which is a type of physical interaction that occurs between electrically charged particles and what do you mean by a spectrum it is nothing but a range of frequencies now let's see what does an electromagnetic spectrum actually mean it is a spectrum of electromagnetic radiation and their respective wavelengths and photon energies the range of frequencies varies from below 1 hertz to about 10 power 25 hertz corresponding to wavelengths from thousands of kilometers down to a fraction of size of an atomic nucleus this is because wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency now let's see how the spectrum is divided the spectrum is divided into different frequency bands each having a specific application for instance the frequency band that covers 300 kilohertz to 535 kilohertz is reserved for aeronautical and maritime communications and the spectrum from 535 kilohertz and 1605 kilohertz for amplitude modulation of audio this process is called allocation hence they are divided into radio waves microwaves infrared visible light ultraviolet x rays and gamma rays at a high frequency end the electromagnetic waves in each of these bands have different characteristics such as how they are produced how they interact with matter and their practical applications this is how a spectrum will look like observe it carefully so that you can understand the concept much better now let's see each waves in detail the first one is the radio waves the term radio reminds us about the radios fm's mobile communications telecommunications etc do you know how they are produced all right the accelerated motion of the charges in conducting wires produces these radio waves and their frequency range from 500 kilohertz to about 1000 megahertz here is a picture showing how the radio waves are transmitted it is just similar to the waves produced when dropping a pebble in water and this is going to be disappeared at some distance this is the range of the waves in water the similar principle is followed for all the radio waves what strikes to your mind when you hear the word microwave is it oven are you interested to know what's going on inside an oven okay then let's see about microwaves microwave energy is produced with kylostron and magnetron tubes and with solid state devices such as gun and impact diodes and like high frequency waves such as infrared and light which are absorbed mainly at surfaces microwaves can penetrate into materials and deposit their energy below the surface this effect is used to heat the food in microwave ovens and for industrial heating and mechanical diathermy they are used in satellite for communication and in wireless networking technologies such as wifi and its range lies between 300 gigahertz to 300 megahertz here is a picture showing how the food is cooked in an oven as explained before the magnetron is producing the microwave energy and is converted into heat and hence our food is cooked in the set time now let's see about the ir radiations which are called as infrared radiations ir radiations is nothing but the heat we feel every simple object on earth emits ir radiations in the form of heat but the natural resources of ir radiations are the sun and the fire our household appliances such as the heat lamps toasters etc use ir radiations to transmit heat similarly the industrial heaters uses ir radiations for the process of drying and curing materials some of the other uses are in tv remote control where the ir is used to change our favorite channels by just pressing the buttons and another important application of ir spectrum is in sensing and detection the picture shows the ir image of a snake chasing the rat the other picture would have become familiar to you during this pandemic situation it's nothing but the ir thermometer now let's see about the visible rays the best example is a rainbow that we see with the naked eyes how is it possible let's see it 
Visible light is typically absorbed and emitted by electrons in molecules and atoms that move from one energy level to the other energy level. This action allows the chemical mechanisms that underlie human vision and plant photosynthesis. The radiation between 400 terahertz to 790 terahertz can be detected by the human eye and hence it is perceived as the visible light and its wavelength is between 38 nanometers and 760 nanometers which is observed using the prism experiment wherein the white light will be passed through the prism and it gets split into several colors of light which is observed in the visible spectrum between 400 nanometers and 780 nanometers this is shown in the first picture and the visible rainbow is displayed here now let's see about ultraviolet radiations Ultraviolet radiation is present in sunlight and constitutes about 10% of total electromagnetic radiation output from the sun. These radiations can also be produced by electric arc and specialized light such as mercury vapor lamps, tanning lamps and black lights. Short wave ultraviolet light damages DNA and sterilizes the surface with which it comes into contact. For humans sun tan and sunburn are familiar effects of exposure of skin to uv light along with an increased risk of skin cancer the range of uv radiation is between 3 gigahertz to 750 terahertz here are the pictures showing a portable uv lamp and uv produced from electric arc let's see what are x rays and how were they discovered a german physicist wilhelm röntgen discovered a new form of radiation in the year 1895 he called it as x radiations because he didn't know what it was yes it's as simple as that this mysterious radiation had the ability to pass through many materials that absorb the visible light x rays also have the ability to knock electrons loose from the atoms over the years these exceptional properties have made x rays useful in many fields such as medicine and research into the nature of an atom x rays are very energetic form of electromagnetic radiation that can be used to take images of the human body x rays are type of electromagnetic radiation probably most well known for their ability to see through a person's skin and reveal images of the bones beneath it and their spectrum range is between 30 petahertz to 30 exahertz that is 3 into 10 power 16 hertz to 3 into 10 power 19 hertz one of the uses of x rays is to find any damage in human bones as shown in the picture now let's see about gamma rays gamma rays arises from the radioactive decay of atomic nuclei it has a shortest wavelength and hence it imparts the highest photon energy the spectrum range of gamma rays are greater than 10 power 19 hertz some of the uses of gamma rays are in medicine industry and nuclear industry it is also used in sterilizing medical equipments and food it is also used as traces in medicine and in radiotherapy especially in oncology to kill cancerous cells and also it is used in gamma ray astronomy here is a picture showing gamma rays which were found using fermi telescope while studying the high energy cosmos